this is Dr. Ramsey Amin, and I want to talk to you shortly about bone grafting for dentistry, primarily dental implants. Most people don't know where the bone comes from. That is really the most often the question that I get regarding, well, where do you get this stuff? There's basically four, four different types of bone. One is bone that comes from your own body. Second is bone that comes from a tissue donor, meaning another human being. Third is bone that comes from a cow. And fourth is bone that's synthetically derived. They all have different applications in certain areas. One doesn't replace the other. Kind of like wood is different than steel is different than, uh, say, drywall. They do different things. Most people... Uh, most people choose not to use their own bone. Uh, your own bone can be used for very large situations where we're missing primarily a lot of bone in the upper front part of the mouth. Most people don't want their own bone taken because you have to take it from one area of the mouth to another part of the mouth, typically just below the lower front teeth from the chin area or just from the side of where the wisdom teeth used to be or still are. It's a procedure that we still do. Uh, in more major bone grafts, where we need a lot of bone volume, let's say you're missing all of your teeth, then we need to take bone from the tibia, which is the bone just below your kneecap, or from the hip. That does require a hospital procedure and generally an overnight stay in order to do that. Bone that comes from a tissue donor, at least the type that I use, has undergone gamma radiation and chemical treatment to remove anything that's alive in it whatsoever. For lack of a better term, I call it hamburger helper. It's simply just a filler that allows your bone to, to grow into the area that the bone replacement graft was put into. Just as if I took a piece of my skin and placed it onto your skin, my skin would become your skin eventually. It does turn over. The cells do become yours. Usually we use a mixture of human tissue donor bone plus cow bone. And depending on the area of the mouth that it's placed, it generally requires somewhere between three and six months to solidify. Again, depending on uh, how much bone you really need for the area. Again, four different types of bone. Bone that comes from your own body. Bone that comes from a tissue donor. Bone that comes from a cow bone that's synthetically made. Bone that comes from a cow has the long-term literature behind it. It's been around a long time and very useful. In fact, I've placed it on my own family member. Uh, lastly, synthetic bone substitutes, they're very good, although their primary use is for small areas. They're not meant to go where the implant would be directly implanted into. You wouldn't want to have the bone supported completely by a bone substitute. But again, your situation may be different, and these are things that we talk about at a consultation appointment. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Ramsey and me, and I hope this is helpful for you.